thanks T. Roy. And just around the corner from that raid was garbage of a very different kind. The community and residents in that area have cried out for help from News Channel 8. And T. Roy Augustine was there. We all remember when Willem the Light was livable. Now the conditions are here have looked like Bush the lame duck has landed. Here with me I have Marla Knight and she only you know what's really going on in here and from what I'm seeing it's, it explains it all. <laughs> Blessed, you know, normally when I come, I always like to like, you know, I like to grace my face as for something good. But, you know, being that I am a resident here in Williams, I think, you know, being that I have done my work within the community and I think it's time for the government, man, to give me a hand. Because right now, I don't know if this is labeled as a part of Anguilla or not, but, you know, it has gotten real terrible over the last three weeks apparently they installed this fence here supposedly to prevent people from dumping but it since they put a fence there it get worse and you know i made some calls yesterday you know to find out about the garbage being dumped and they did say well you know they did they came around to do it but apparently the garbage has been mixed with different debris and we all know we have to separate you know electronics and different things from different things but right now this is the situation and my biggest concern is this whole um i i'm quite sure what was the purpose of it being done i'm not sure if it had some other leak in some other place but this hole was dug yesterday you know i guess to repair something but as you could see it's cash and now you know and the water is running all the way down to the to the private sector right now and my biggest concern is if the garbage truck should come in here to try and do their work they cannot because right now you have a whole bunch of soft mushy mud you know and and it's, it's real I, it, it upsets me it upsets me to know that that this is how they have us because we are people you know regardless of how you may look of it some of us living here to government why some people pay rent and majority of the people in here that pay rent are willing and able to purchase the house but right now they have they have not give us that ability to do so you know and as judging from my knowing from living here for the last six years home ownership does not want to sell the place to, to the people them because they said the conditions of the house therefore house need to sell the house to the people them as is and they have people willing to do so you know but over i just really concerned about this garbage you know garbage it got feces, it got different things there. They sort of pollute the air, you know. It got people that are living here with asthma. You know, it got people really trying to live and do the right thing. And we in here, we get, despite of the bad rumors, we don't live good. We don't live, we don't live regardless of situations, you know. So, government officials, I call, you know, for a hand. You know, we need a hand. And, and, and we just don't need a hand today. We need a hand today, tomorrow, and the future because we need to own, you know, ain't everybody want to raise in a, I, I don't have a problem coming from a ghetto because you need ghetto life to live in this modern time, you know, but we want, it have people that want to own their own. This garbage, this water leak, the roads, everything need to fix. They told us this road was going to be fixed December, you know, and, and that's terrible that we, we are now in what, February going into March, you know, people don't change shocks, people don't have the mash up rim, you know, and like is Willem the like the new dump site everyone needs to know i'm t roy for news channel 8. thanks t roy that's a sad sight and when we come back from this break we'll have more news stay with us <laughs> Welcome back, and the Taste of St. Croix is just a few weeks away, but St. Croix is already putting it together. Here's Roger Dewey, Colin Hodge, and Catherine Puglisi. Thank you. We're here to announce or make the, our community aware of the food and wine experience, the uh, premier, the Caribbean's premier food and wine event that is built around a Taste of St. Croix. will be happening this year from April 14th to 18th. Um, to my right is Catherine Puglesi, who created the Taste of St. Croix along with Kelly Odom, and Colin Hodge, who is the event coordinator and one of the uh, planners of this event that makes it all possible. Um, the, the entire week consists of uh, restaurants that participate and do gourmet and wine dinners on Monday, um, on Tuesday and Wednesday. 
On Thursday, we have the Taste of St. Croix, and as part of the Taste of St. Croix and the professionalism required of this level of event, we have guest chefs who come in and judge the event. And on Friday, those guest chefs are going to be doing dinners that the community is eligible to attend. The dinners are going to be done at the VI Sustainable Farm, Government House, and in two private homes. And on Saturday, Leewood Warehouse, which is Bellows West Indies and Prestige Wines, is opening their warehouse to Wine in the Warehouse, which is a wonderful party where people can come and sample various wines, enjoy wonderful music and food. And I'd like to turn the mic over to Catherine Puglesi, who created this wonderful week. Thanks so much, Roger, and hello, all the listeners. We're so proud to say that this is the ninth year of the Taste of St. Croix. It's a fun community event in which we celebrate all of the restaurateurs, the chefs, the caterers, everybody who comes out and puts into the service industry and creates a wonderful night of uh, fusion of food and frivolity. And it's a great night to dress up and see and be seen. Um, and as that event has grown over the years, we've had surrounding events that have come into it. So we've now dubbed it the St. Croix Food and Wine Experience. It lasts for five days, five fun-packed days. So save your appetites. Uh and save your get get your get your glass of wine ready because we have some wonderful vintners that are going to be coming from all over the world, pouring beautiful wines um, at the Taste of Saint Croix as well as many of the surrounding events. So we're excited to um, say that this is our ninth year. We have wonderful food and wine on tap for you. So save the date, get ready, April 14th through April 18th, and um, we look forward to seeing everybody out there. So. Thanks so much, and thanks for supporting a wonderful event. From a different perspective, if you would like to be a sponsor, a corporate sponsor, or individual sponsor, you can still call the foundation to be a part of this. We are still taking donation. That's seven seven three nine eight nine eight to be a sponsor. Ticket information will be forthcoming to all of these fantastic events. So stay tuned. That's April fourteenth to the eighteenth. Okay, the Saint Croix Food and Wine Experience, the ninth annual.